Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. So my video today is going to be an unboxing because I just got the final shipment of the Rancho Gordo Bean Club a couple days ago. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, again, the Bean Club, I think it's like 40 bucks um, and it ships every three months and you usually get seven things. I think I got seven things today. Anyway, let's see what I got. So obviously we got some Rancho Gordo tissue paper on top. And then I got a little booklet. It says Rancho Gordo 20th anniversary. Okay, so this is just kind of a little thing about um, the company, where they get them, the people. I will read that later, but that looks really cool. As always, we got the Rancho Gordo newsletter. I love this. This always has an explanation of every bean and then a recipe for every bean, which I love. Um, and just like tons of info about all these things. Um, finally, I got this. What is this? I like opened this up to see what beans I got, but I didn't really go through any of this. Oh, it's a calendar. Oh my gosh, how fun. Okay, so it's got this picture and then Rancho Gordo. And then we've got all the like little calendar pages here. That's a nice little surprise. How sweet. Okay, now for the beans. So first, we got two non-bean things, which I'm just gonna talk about because I ran on top. Um, first, we got some Masur Dal split red lentils. I do like to use kind of these red orangey lentils for soup. I actually have a recipe I like. I think it's from Bon Appetit. And it's kind of like a red lentil coconut curry soup. I think it has spinach in it, frozen spinach and diced tomatoes, it's real nice. If I can find that recipe, I will link that uh, in the description section. We got popcorn. I freaking love popcorn. I don't eat it too much. I, I try to avoid corn just because corn can be very inflammatory, but from the time I was a little kid, like I always really like popcorn. Sometimes I would do microwave popcorn, but my mom was always a big one um, to actually pop popcorn kernels on the stove, loaded up with butter. Oh, so good. And I still do that. So we got the crimson popping corn. It says red kernels turn snow white when cooked with a stovetop, hot air, or even microwave popper. So we got some nice red popcorn. Um, it says with a microwave popper, how do you even cook like popcorn like this in the microwave. I've never done it. I've only just done it on the stove. Super excited to try this. I don't often cook with a lot of butter, but I was testing out a recipe the other day for Thanksgiving and I needed butter for it and I needed more butter for it. So I have a lot of butter. Um, and then when I saw I got the popcorn, I'm like, we know what we're gonna do with that butter. Um, okay, now on to the beans. I think I've had three of these five. So first we got the King City Pink Beans. So it says dense, thin skin, historic California heirloom with a rich bean broth. So I have had these before. Um, and I believe these beans were talked about in a Jack Kerouac novel. I don't remember. Just looking at the recipe for these, they have King City Pinks with pickled shallots and goat cheese. That looks lovely. Okay, next up we got some cranberry beans. So these say versatile heirloom with a velvety texture, thin skin, and indulgent bean broth. Ideal for pasta e fagioli, soups and stews, baked beans, and more. Try a simple bowl dusted with Parmesan cheese. Kind of looks like this, sort of similar to a pinto, similar size to a pinto. Uh, pretty similar coloring to a pinto as well. And I believe you could use these like very similarly to how you would use a pinto. Um, so they give a Chilean cranberry bean stew. Ooh, interesting. Okay, next we have the large white lima bean. These are not as big as the Royal Coronas, but these are rather large. So it says this creamy indulgent heirloom is worthy of your attention. With a smoked ham hock or vegan with aromatics and olive oil, our new crop limas are a pleasure to cook and to eat. So they look like this. Um, if you've watched my bean videos before, you know I talk about Royal Coronas a ton. These are about half the size of Royal Coronas. This newsletter is all about stews. So this has large white lima and 
fennel stew. Mmm, that sounds good too. Alrighty, and next we have the Midnight Black Bean. So this says extra fancy turtle bean with a rich traditional black bean flavor and texture holds its shape through lots of cooking yet remain, retains its famous creamy interior. So very small black bean. Um, I would be lying if I said I didn't have many bags of these. Um, I think I got some black beans in the second, like it would have been quarter two shipment of this, but that was like my first uh, bean club shipment. I think I sent a couple of these to friends. Um, I don't know if I've actually cooked with the midnight black beans yet, but I definitely have had them in my pantry. And with the black beans on the newsletter, we have a recipe for black bean pot liquor with sweet potato. What the heck is pot liquor? I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that one out. All right, and finally, the last bean we got, which is really pretty and very appropriate because we're coming into the new year. These are called Super Lucky 2022 Black Eyed Peas. So it says all good Southerners and their friends know that the secret to a prosperous new year is to eat black eyed peas on New Year's Day. Well, clearly I'm not a Southerner. And I guess I don't have friends who are Southerners because I've never heard this. So these say quick cooking and easy to enjoy in stews, salads, and curries. So they are pretty. Got our black eyed peas here. Don't think I've ever had black eyed peas before. I clearly have a lot of things to figure out uh, with all these beans. So the recipe here is roasted delicata squash, black eyed peas, and mustard greens. Mm, I'm liking all these ideas with like the squash, the sweet potatoes and beans. Cause I got a lot of squash, I got a lot of sweet potatoes <laughs> and I have a ton of beans. So anyway, that is what I got in the fourth quarter shipment of the Rancho Gordo Bean Club. Um, again, super happy that I was finally accepted into the bean club. Um, and I'm very, very well stocked on beans. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas on what I should do with some of these beans or the lentils, please leave me a comment down below. Um, also we are coming into Thanksgiving very soon. This will be my last video before Thanksgiving. So for my American friends, I would like to say happy Thanksgiving. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. Have a fabulous weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.